performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Even on 0-2, a dangerous count for Daniel Murphy. Lifted down the line in left. Pham giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Behind 0-2 now. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. Oh, All of his Colorado. pitches, great the command, third, great location. Rolling. And the big key, with All right, two strikes, right. he's attacking the zone. So next, it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Boy, he's been great. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. Brian Shaw enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try now to keep the deficit right Colorado. where it is. Number 29. Ready once again. Avisail Garcia. His numbers against Brian Shaw. It's a big enough sample size, but he's just one for 14. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. He's set. Here's the 0-1. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. He's around first, heading for two. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. He's ready. Here's the first offering to first. Reynolds comes up with it. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out. But it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Now it. The center fielder. Stepping in Kevin. and ready for another shot. Kevin Kiermaier. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line towards center field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run scored really? for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes takes this the other way to right that gets down and the inning continues so the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit hey pitchers you better start taking notice of this guy he better be now circled back. on that lineup part because he's on fire that's his second sure. hit of the ball game right there and I don't see him stopping in now G man Choi and he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left gone
It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number three here in the early going as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know that thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Now batting, the second baseman, Joey. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell as he lines it out to center. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Around first, digging for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate, and that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives, and he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. And there's a missile off the bat, but it's fired. Ready with the 0-1. Hit sharply toward the right side. Blackman is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Tampa Bay leads this one 13 to nothing. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Oh, for two for him to this point. Swung on and missed. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. The first All you have to do is look at the last four hitters Mark. for evidence. All Red four of them have gone down on strikes as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Strike swinging, chased a high one there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground out to short. And Reynolds has himself a base hit. Now, now batting, batting, Ian Desmond. First offering on its way. Desmond. And it's fouled away. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kiermaier is under it, and he makes the catch.
Ready now, Tommy Pham. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. For the Rays, the left fielder, Tommy. First pitch Pham. coming, here it is. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Blackman. He's there and records the first down. The batter. The catcher. Next will be the cleanup Mike. hitter, Mike Zanino. His Go numbers Gino. against Brian Shaw. He's a 333 hitter. He's set and the pitch. Thought he goes the other way and he drives it out to deep right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Digging hard. He's headed for third. The relay throw. But he is hey. in there with a triple. Anytime the ball is hit that hard to deep center, oh, that's you know it's bed. going to be a tough play. The, right the center fielder gives chase, but it ends up coming off the wall. Just and by that time, up. you knew it was going to be a triple. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes this the other way to right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, this one yeah, looked bad. like it was the headed for extra hit bases off yeah, the bat. Go. Instead, a line Robert drive bullet bad. caught in the alley, but he does end up getting You're a sacrifice fly. Scott Ober comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've Got run out there in this one. Over. Stepping in now, Daniel Robertson. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Blackman is there, and he'll make the catch. to retire the side so one run here one hit no errors and no one left we played eight. here's the catcher now Chris Iannetta starting things for his side the in the ninth as the they catcher. face the improbable odds of Iannetta. trying to come back in this one yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point but these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats you can't mill in your chances as a professional its way the 0 2 pitch struck Zero. him out 18 strikeouts for him now the batter number one digging in the switch hitter Garrett Hampson he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last Zero. time starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the third right here. And there's out number two. Striding in for the Rockies, Daniel Murphy. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The right fielder. Standing in, Charlie Blackman. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. One ball, no strikes to count. And he lays off here as well. It's 2 0 now to the Colorado right fielder. Boy, this is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like this. 2 0 count. We'll see right here if he lays one in there to give him a pitch to swing at. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Fouled off. Not the largest crowd ever, but they're on their feet. Fouled away. Last strike now for Colorado. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. 
throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 14-0 is the final in this one. The Rays 